Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new type of video. So, today I'm going to be trying to teach you what square root and perfect root is. So, some words you'll need to know throughout this lesson is square root, second power but not necessarily, perfect root, and whole numbers or integers. So first, what is square root? Square root is a number that produces a specific number when multiplied by itself. A good example of this is the square root of 49 is 7 because 7 times 7 equals 49. Some more examples of this is the square root of 100 being 10 because 10 times 10 equals 100. The square root of 20 being approximately 4.5. 4.472 because 4.472 times 4.472 is approximately 20. And the square root of 45 is approximately 6.708 because 6.708 times 6.708 is approximately 45. As you notice, the first example is a perfect square because it is a whole number times a whole number. For the second and third example are not perfect squares due to the fact that it's a whole number and a decimal. But we'll touch on that more later on in the video. Okay. Now, pause the video and try to answer these six questions. Use a calculator if necessary and round to the nearest hundred. Okay, now that you've done that, let's see if you got the correct answers. The answer for number one was 8.49. Number two was 4.12. Number three was 9. Number four was 8.43. Number five, number five was 5. And number six was 8. Comment down below how many you got right out of six. And I will reply telling what your score would have been if it was an actual test. Now, what is a perfect square? A perfect square is a number in which the square root of that number is an integer. An example is... That's supposed to say 49. I don't know why it says 40. But it's supposed to be 49 is a perfect square because 7 times 7 equals 49. More examples would be 1 being a perfect square because 1 times 1 equals 1, and 16 being a perfect square because 4 times 4 equals 16. Though, that 20 is not a perfect square because 4.472 times 4.472 is approximately 20, and 4.472 is not an integer or a whole number. Now... Pause the video and choose yes or no for the following questions. Okay, now that you've done that, let's see how many you got right. For number one, the answer was no. Number two, the answer was yes. And it explains for number two because when I asked somebody this earlier, they got it wrong. Number two is the perfect square because 11 times 11 equals 121. And I'm guessing that person just didn't know their 11s. Okay, the answer for number 3 was no. Because n no integer times another integer will give you 99. Well, no integer times that same integer will give you 99. And number 4 is yes. Because 2 times 2 will give you 4, making 4 a perfect square. And that will conclude this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll post your content. And remember to stay in school, follow your dreams, and wear your seatbelts. Goodbye, everyone.